welcome to Charlotte Christian School. Charlotte Christian School for our first instrumental music performance of the 2019-20 school year. My name is Leslie Niesner. I'm the director of bands here and the assistant director of fine arts. We are so honored to share the stage with our upper schoolers tonight. The orchestra, the wind ensemble, and the jazz band will be sharing some musical selections with you. Um, Ms. Marissa Centiniello, who is a flute player in the wind ensemble, is going to say our opening prayer for us. Please bow your heads. Dear Lord, thank you for this opportunity to come here and worship you. And I pray for all the nerves to be calmed and that we just have a great performance. Amen.
your support of the orchestra and band program here at Charlotte Christian. I am very proud of the students and the work that they have put forth to prepare for this concert. I want to thank them for welcoming me and making my transition to Charlotte Christian very smooth. I have really enjoyed getting to know them and work with them. I hope that you have enjoyed our previous selections and the intense rhythms and the darker melodies in both of those. This next piece that we will be playing for you will be different. I presented a challenge to them. It's a challenge musically, rhythmically, and technically, and I have been so proud to see what they have accomplished in this next piece. It features two soloists, one in our viola section, one in our cello section, as well as some difficult notes to play for them, but they add a very dramatic effect. So I hope you enjoy the, mel the melodramatic melodies that you will hear passed around each section, and that you can picture an old forgotten ballroom that was once the beacon of high society in many years past. Here's the Phantom Waltz.
Good evening. I'm Mr. Ben Ector. I, I'm one of the high school English teachers at Charlotte Christian. And I have a question for you tonight. What most terrifies you? Utter darkness in a dank, slimy hole? The imminent slicing of flesh over and over again? Complete immobility, exhaustion, starvation, thirst, potentially falling forever into a bottomless abyss. Scorching walls closing in, swarming hungry rats. Edgar Allan Poe's The Pit and the Pendulum carries our narrator through each of these horrific torments, only after having undergone intense interrogation, torture, and sentencing during the Inquisition. Then at the last moment, before utter hopelessness, complete despair, a reaching hand rescues him. Yes, even Edgar Allan Poe stumbles upon the biblical theme of salvation occasionally. Our wind ensemble will now perform The Pit and the Pendulum by Michael Story. <laughs> Thank you. 
Our final song, Hymn Song Variants, isn't based on a real hymn at all, and yet those of you that have grown up in a traditional church setting will recognize that the main melody is hymn-like. It's very singable, it's um, very lush, smooth, and connected, and then what this composer Robert W. Smith does with, with the initial statement of the hymn, which you'll hear in, in the woodwinds, the reeds in particular, is he varies, varies it several times throughout the piece, thus the title Hymn Song Variants. And we can vary music in a number of ways without losing the core essence of that main melody. You'll hear him um, write the melody to be played twice as fast. You'll also hear it in certain sections to be twice as slow. You'll hear it in a fugue, which is a fancy word for a round, entrant, uh, the students entering at different times. Um, you'll even hear it inverted, played upside down. Now, I don't expect your ear to follow that, but just to keep in mind that what you hear at the very beginning that the students set is woven throughout in a very intricate way. We've had a chance to talk about um, composition and, and musical elements that make the notes jump off the page, working hard just as you heard the orchestra display, not just playing notes on a page like a robot could reproduce or a computer, but putting our heart and our own creative ideas into it so that we have real music coming to life for you tonight. We hope you enjoy our final selection, Hymn Song Variants, after which there will be a brief transition and we will um, enter into our Trium Honor Society induction. All right, Hymn Song Variants.
Good evening. Again, I am Leslie Niesner, and I'm the advisor of the Charlotte Christian School chapter of the Tri-M Music Honor Society. At this time, I would like to introduce the student officers in our chapter for the 2019-20 school year. President Maddie Roddy, Secretary Preston Weller, and Historian Joseph Sockleben. This time, I'd like to invite our Tri-M inductees to join us across the front of the stage. Please make your way down now. Ladies, gentlemen, and fellow students, we welcome you to this important occasion. Tonight, we will formally induct musicians who have met the necessary criteria to become members of the Charlotte Christian School chapter of the Tri-M Music Society. These students have been selected for membership on the basis of scholarship in academics and the arts. The name Tri-M was derived from the original name of our honor society, Modern Music Masters. The first letter M signifies modern. That which is new in any age is called modern. Let us remember that we should study the past to effectively plan for our future. This is a youth organization, and with each succeeding year, its membership will be made up of young people such as you. Therefore, our honor society will never grow old, but will eternally be modern. The second letter M signifies music. According to the Random House Dictionary of the English Language, Music is defined as the art of sound that expresses ideas and emotion in significant forms through the elements of rhythm, melody, harmony, and color. Music was present even before there was a written language, and from that time until now, it has been a source of communication. Music is the universal language. The third letter, M, signifies masters. In the arts, the custom has been made to give the title of master to those who have achieved a high degree of proficiency. Tonight's inductees have met the criteria of Tri-M candidate for a student membership. 
A member of Tryon Music Honor Society is one who sets a good example as a musician and a person and is always willing to assist those students who are striving to better themselves in music. With this honor comes responsibility. May you accept this honor of membership and responsibility to serve with pride. The Tri-M emblem was designed to symbolize the function and purpose of the Honor Society. The music staff, lyre, and scroll represent the member's proficiency in service in the field of music. The triplet figure in the form of an M symbolizes the three M's in the name Modern Music Masters. Candidates, please repeat the pledge to show your willingness to carry out the principles of the Tri-M Music Honor Society. We, the musicians of the Charlotte Christian School Fine Arts Department, we, the musicians of the Charlotte Christian School Fine Arts Department, in order to foster a greater continued interest, in order to foster a greater continued interest, and desire for excellence in music performance, and desire for excellence in music performance, to encourage appreciation, to encourage appreciation, and awareness in listening to music, and awareness in listening to music. To promote wider opportunities for sharing joy through music. To promote wider opportunities for sharing joy through music. Both within our school and within our community. Both within our school and within our community. To advance the spirit of good music and musical knowledge. To advance the spirit of good music and musical knowledge. And to enhance the reputation of our school. And to enhance the reputation for our school. As a center for musical enrichment. As a center for musical enrichment. Accept the honor now granted to us. Accept the honor now granted to us. Thank you. It is my honor now to congratulate and welcome you as a member of Chapter 2826 of the Tri-M Music Honor Society. Please join us after the concert to celebrate your membership with a reception in the Hughie Gallery. Please be seated.
Thank you again for coming out tonight, especially as the start time was a little bit later than usual. We hope you enjoyed the um, performances of the orchestra and the wind ensemble and the jazz band. We hope that you will join us for a reception in the Hughie Gallery. The food looks really good. It smells great out there. Um, as we honor our students as well as the new Trium inductees. Please join us in prayer as we close. Heavenly Father, I thank you very much for this time that we have to come and enjoy this gift of music that you have given to us. Thank you for the talents that you have bestowed on each one of these students. Thank you for the work that they have put into making tonight happen. I pray that you would be with us tonight as we fellowship together. I pray for safety and protection as we head home. Thank you for your blessings. We ask all this in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. <laughs>